and away uh, they go. Got them way to a fair start. Midnight Advocates is one of the early leaders. Just can't get enough. Is down the inside and Aquila Gold slipping through at the fence going off to lead them. King of Queen is between runners. Got the white blinkers on. The red body black cap and they followed behind them by Battle of Kursk. Then comes Hat Hot Hat to races five lengths off the leader. Swiss Waltz a little bit strong behind that. Then came Lord Capulet. Two lengths away. Electric Storm and Tornado King races the back end of the field and around ten lengths off the leader as they continue along the side of the track just past the 600 meter mark and Aquila Gold leads the way by two and a half lengths. Midnight Advocator one off the fence racing in second King of Queens down on the rail then just can't get enough. Midnight Advocator's coming outside and then came Battle of Kursk Swiss Walt further back as they turn for home. They're just on 300 to go. Aquila Gold in front by four lengths from in second King of Queen Battle of Kursk is running on towards the outside. Then came Swiss Walt in behind that but now King of Queen Battle of Kursk they pour on the pressure. Swiss Walt Aquila Gold down the inside. King of Queen just in front of Battle of Kursk. Battle of Kursk got to the lead and won it. Second, King of Queen. Then came Swiss Walt, followed by Aquila Gold in fourth. Of race number one. So here's your on replay. Aquila Gold on the left hand side was the leader into the home straight, but Battle of Kursk came quite wide on the home turn. That's towards the outside the sheepskin nose band and runs on strongly with King of Queen and Swiss Walt into the closing stages. So Battle of Kursk has won race number one. One, four, seven, ten, the numbers as they go across the line. Well, it's Battle of Kursk who claims victory in the first this afternoon, Nelson Mandela Bay, and uh, ridden to victory by Richard Faree, temperamental chap, and Richard's done a great job with him today. Got to say, very well done as well, being a very hot individual to his groom, AJ, who had him looking absolutely outstanding. He was the pick of the parade during this afternoon, and he's a very well-deserved recipient of the World Sports Betting 1,500 Rand Extra Grooms Initiative check. Got Godfrey on hand, collecting on his behalf, and everyone has uh, is very well-deserved of the 1500 Rand. Congratulations, Godfrey. Thank you very much. Richard's standing by. He's busy breaking down the race there for his yeah. trainer, Alan Kreff, and Neil Pretorius, hearing all about it. No, and we weren't talking racing, talking fishing. Crack on. That, that's not important. <laughs> Let's come back to racing. <laughs> But uh, Richard, I've got to say, really, really well done because he gave you all, all your days from when you got thrown up. He was temperamental to the start. At the start, I thought that you might leave racing to take up rodeo riding. And then you still managed to do equipment changes with the hood and everything else and taking off his earmuffs in the pens. I can't believe you kept it all together. Well done. Hey, look, uh, I must say well done to the guys back at the start. Bobo nearly getting kicked twice. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, when he kicks out, it's violent. He means business when he yeah. when he lashes out, and uh, yeah, he's a difficult horse. Um, he's got a couple of screws missing, um, but he, you know he's his own enemy. He just fights himself, yeah. and there's m moments where he comes good, and then all of a sudden he realizes now he needs to play around, and he's busy. But uh, I'm just glad we got him into the gates. Um, you know, to quickly get the handler up while he's coming up. I'm quickly putting the hood on just to make sure everything stays yeah. calm. Um, yeah, and then he jumped fairly decent, but he, he, he's the type of horse that wants a little bit further, but he's quite headstrong, and you could see on the bend, he was running off, you know, it's a, quite a yeah. tight corner for him, and, uh, you know, he was just lugging out, so eventually I let him go, and I got a big action going, and, um, you know, if we got him in the gates, he would win, so... I'm happy about that. <laughs> last <laughs> just time, getting there, yeah. Exactly. Last time, he just went face shape. But uh, well done to the guys there. And obviously to Mr. Griff and the team back at home doing all the graft. 
it's not an easy horse, so full accolades to them and to my sponsors at Winning Form. Well, thank goodness you came back nice and fresh off your break, ready to cope with him. I think he just took all my energy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll bounce back just now. No, I know you've got to run, so I'm not going to talk through all your runners with you, but if you could possibly pick one or two that you that stand out for you this afternoon. Uh, which ones do you... Well, we can go through all of them. Sikadadi is new. You've ridden her last time out for the first time, but she's got a bad draw today. Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult from there. Regatta Grande, now you must, I know he's your favourite <laughs> horse, so you have to be honest. You can't say he's going to win. What do you think he's capable of today? I'm hoping for a good run back. Um, he's a nice style of horse and uh, he's just come back from Gelding and hopefully he improves and mm. start, uh, start running good races. Uh, for all we know, always gives an honest run. Yeah, always there. Uh, Body Electric is new. I'm not sure if you've ridden her before, but she's got the type of form to be very effective. Yeah, I know from Cape Town, uh, Handy Sword. On the road again? Always there, but. And let's have a look. Oh, also new, so I'm not sure if you've ridden her, River Caress. Um, that's from the high felt, mm -hmm. no other. Um, speedy type of filly, she should run well. And Sijioka should enjoy being back on Polly. Exactly. There you go, right, awesome. well you've got one in the bag, well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alan standing by, he's gonna have a chat now. He did say if Battle of Kursk loads, he will be a runner, but very hard to put people in the camp of backing a horse who, who may not load. Yeah, only upside is they might get their money back if he didn't load, but uh, <laughs> well done, I must say. Um, Richard said, I must reiterate it, the handlers did a sterling job yeah. getting him in, you know. No, we saw him, he was, he, he, like, like Richard said, he kicks with vehemence. Yeah, you yeah. know, and uh, we passed him three times before today's race meeting just to, that everybody got used to him and the idea of what he gets up to. So very well done to them and uh, well deserved. To uh, the owner, Mr. Moore in uh, Zimbabwe and Adrian, very well done and congratulations to them. And uh, even better, Richard, first ride back after a little bit of a breather, uh, a man on a mission, but yeah. uh, needs a holiday now and then. Uh, well done. Fantastic. Alan, who's your next best on the day? Um, maybe Body Electric. There you go. She yeah. does look like she's got the form. Well done for this one. Thank you. Battle of Kursk, uh, lots of well done to be given out to everyone. I think, as has been said, the handlers did a fantastic job with him behind the pens and have learnt about him. Richard really kept his cool and kept quiet and got the best out of him. And, of course, to his groom, who has received the World Sports Betting um, 1,500 Rand extra, having to work with Battle of Kursk every day must be a lot of fun. So well done to AJ, as well as to, to the owner, Mr Moore. I'm sure you'll be very happy with the hard work that's gone on behind the scenes so Battle of Kursk can lead the maid. Thank you.